All right, ladies and gents, how about we work on some advanced controls like opening a toggle. So if you come over here and you see a toggle here and you click on it, here's what we get in the HTML. By the way, let me actually show you what it does. So if I click on it, see that it opens up this text that we can read. So to click on it, you guys see it has a class. So let's use that class and see if it gets us the right identifier. Remove all that. Class equals. Excellent. So it does work for us. We can use a class to identify this toggle. Now, if there were two toggles that I created, they would probably have this same class and then that would not work. And then you would need to use some other identifier to open and close this toggle. But in the meantime, it works. And then you can use that to read the text that's in here. All right, so you can see that text lives inside of the toggle. And then once it's open, it's a P tag. And inside of there, there's some text. Now, how about tabs? You guys see these tabs over here? So if I click on this one, this is tab two. If I click on this one, this is tab one. See how the text changes there and how the tabs actually become black when they're selected. So how can you click on the appropriate tab? Well, let's take a look. So if we use our Firebug to highlight here, you can first of all see that it has a link and it has text inside, it's called tab two, and it has an href, which is just a hashtag. And it's also a class of ETPT tab active. How about this other one that's not active? has a like class of blank and then its href is this. So if we want to click on tab one, we can do something like an A and then it contains text, open close brackets, text, comma, and the string. And we'll put that in here, tab one. And make sure you close this bracket here, square bracket, hit enter and it's selected. If we want to select container two or tab two, just hit tab two, that's selected. And we can probably even take it a step further and not require the A and just give it a star. And that actually makes it even better, more stable because we're not dependent on having the A tag there. It can be any tag and as long as it contains tab two, we're happy or tab one that'll also work and you can even decide if a certain tab is active by doing something like an li so do that and then inside of that we have our a living right so if we hit enter here that did not work now why is that guys why does can anyone decide, figure out why it doesn't work? Well, it's actually pretty simple. It's because tab one, which we have here, is not active. It's tab two that is active. See that how it works? Because tab two has this class which, and it's active. Tab one is not, so it does not work. So using Selenium WebDriver, we can just check to see, for example, if this web element is returned, if not, then we know that it's not active. And that's how we can decide which tab to click, or even better, we can just click on the appropriate tab, whether it's active or not. And so that's how you work with tabs. And then if whenever you open one up, you can go inside and just read the text.